Hi everyone, welcome to Craft and Crochet. Today I bring another so beautiful and so soft and very valuable baby blanket. This baby blanket is so beautiful and so soft and really easy to make. This is my one of favorite beautiful soft baby blanket. I create beautiful 3D border for this baby blanket. It's come out beautiful finishing. It's really easy to make, only two rows to repeat. Even beginners can make two. I'm gonna give you all detail step by step. I really love this soft baby blanket. I hope you will love too. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my hundred of thousand subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. Okay, before I start my new blanket, I'm gonna show you my finished blanket. This is my finished blanket. It's so soft and so beautiful. I create beautiful border for this baby blanket. It's come out beautiful finishing. This border is a 3D border. In my previous video, I show how to make the full set using this same pattern. If you missed that, I give you a link in the description down below. This pattern is so beautiful. It's coming totally two different patterns for the both sides. I'm using white color yarn to make this baby blanket. You can use any color yarn. I'm using white color yarn. We need four yarn ball for the blanket, one yarn ball for the border. This yarn is double knitting yarn. This yarn recommend hook is four. This yarn ball have 100 gram, 330 meters. We need exactly five yarn ball. I'm using four millimeter crochet hook. You can use any color yarn for this blanket. If you want to make the baby boy or girl, you can use the main color white, second color blue or pink. That mean second color one yarn ball. Exactly we need one yarn ball for the border. I'm using one color to make this blanket. Okay, let's get start. I'm using four millimeter crochet hook to make this baby blanket. To begin, slip knot. This blanket is going side to side. I'm going to make exactly same size blanket. This going side to side. I am start with the chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Again, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This pattern is going multiple of 8. It's going 8, 8, 8 plus 2. I need all, all together 144 chain. Now I have 144 chain. This pattern is going multiple of 8 plus 2. I'm going to add 45, 46. Now I have all together 146 chain. This is the exactly same size for this blanket. This 146 chain is coming around 35 inches or 90 centimeter. This measurement without pulling this yarn 140. 6 chain 35 inches next i'm going to start first row you can see first row is going shell each shell we need 8 chain that means 8 8 plus 2 that's why it's coming multiple of 8 plus 2 next turn your chain to the back side i'm using this back loop skip first chain into the second chain single crochet next skip next three chain into the fourth chain skip next three chain into the fourth chain double crochet into the same chain double crochet now i have a two three four 5, 6, 7, 8 
and a nine chain double crochet into this fourth chain i made one two three four five six seven eight nine double crochet next when you make this nine double crochet for this chain is next chain is going to be small make sure count next chain skip next three chain into the fourth chain single crochet this is the first shell for the first row again skip three chain one two three into the fourth chain nine double crochet one two three four five six seven eight and a nine double crochet skip next three chain one two three into the fourth chain single crochet now you can see i have a two shell again i'm going to show you one more skip next three chain into the fourth chain nine double crochet one two three four five six seven eight and a nine double crochet skip next three chain one two three into the fourth chain single crochet this first row is going skip three chain into the fourth chain nine double crochet again skip three chain into the next chain single crochet continue this pattern all the way to this first row i'm going to show you end of this first row now i'm nearly finished this first row skip three chain into the fourth chain single crochet again skip three chain into the fourth chain nine double crochet this is the last shell two three four five six seven eight and a nine double crochet now i have a nine double crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine i have a four chain left skip this last three chain into the last chain single crochet now I finish first row. It look like this. I have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen shell. This blanket have a eighteen shell. Next, I gonna start row two. Row 2, start with the chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Turn your work other side. This each shall have a 9 double crochet. Into this first double crochet. Front force double crochet. Around to this double crochet. Front force double crochet. Again into the second double crochet. Front force double crochet. Into the third double crochet front force double crochet into the fourth double crochet front force double crochet now i have a one two three four front force double crochet next chain one skip this middle double crochet this is the five into the six skip five into the six front force double crochet into the seven front force double crochet into the eight front force double crochet into the nine front force double crochet now you can see i have a four front force chain one four front force i will skip this fifth double crochet again into the next shell four front force double crochet one two three four front force double crochet chain one skip next double crochet into the next four double crochet again four front force double crochet one two three 
four front fours double crochet. Again into the next shell, four front fours double crochet. Skip this middle double crochet, that means fifth double crochet, chain one into the next four double crochet to again four front fours double crochet. I hope you can understand this pattern now. I finished three shell. Then is coming 3D shell for this side. You can continue this pattern. Four front fours, chain one, four front fours. Now I'm nearly finished this second row with the four front fours, chain one, four front fours, double crochet. This is the last shell. One, two. 3, 4, chain 1, skip 5 double crochet into the 6, the front fours double crochet into the 7, front fours into the 8, front fours double crochet into the 9, front fours double crochet. Now I have a single crochet left into this single crochet, double crochet. Now I finish second row. You can see when you finish the second row is coming 3D shell. You can see this is the exactly same size for this blanket I am going to show you. Here I have a 18 shell. This is the exactly same size. You can see. Next, I'm going to start this line with the 3D shape for this blanket. You can see it's a 3D line. Row 3. Row 3 is start with the chain 1. Turn your work other side. Into the same space, single crochet. Next, skip next four double crochet into this chain space. Double crochet. One, two, three, four double crochet. Now I have a four double crochet. Next, I'm going to make front force double crochet into this previous shell this the skip we skip this five double crochet into this five double crochet into this double crochet front force double crochet make sure you have to get this same high as the other double crochet again into the same chain space four more double crochet one two three Four double crochet. Next, skip next four double crochet between these two shell. Single crochet. Now you can see this the start three D line. Again, skip this four double crochet into the next chain space. Four double crochet. One, two, three. And four double crochet, front four double crochet for this previous shell into this double crochet. Into this previous shell, middle double crochet to front four double crochet. Make sure you have to get the same high for this double crochet as the other double crochets. Into the same chain space, four more double crochet. Two, three, four. Between these two shell, single crochet. Again, I'm going to show you one more into this chain space. Four double crochet. One, two, three, four double crochet. Front four double crochet for this previous shell, middle double crochet. Into the same chain space, four more double crochet. Two, three four double crochet 
between these two shell single crochet now you can see I'm start three shell you can continue this pattern all the way to this third row now I'm nearly finished this third row between these two shell single crochet into this chain space four double crochet front force double crochet for the previous shell middle double crochet into the same chain space four more double crochet now skip next four chain double crochet into this last double crochet of single crochet now i finished three rows you can see is you can see this pattern now this the back side, this the right side. Right side is coming in the 3D shape. Next row 4. Row 4 is going same as the row 2. Start with the chain 3. Turn your work other side. Into this 4 double crochet, we are going to make front force double crochet. 1 front force double crochet. 2 front force double crochet. 3 front force double crochet 4 front force double crochet now you can see i have a 4 front force double crochet chain 1 skip this front force double crochet into the next 4 double crochet again 4 front force double crochet 1 2 3 and a four front force double crochet again into the next shell is going four front force double crochet into this four double crochet one two three and a four chain one skip this front force double crochet into the next four double crochet to one front force double crochet two front force double crochet three front force double crochet and a four front force double crochet now you know this pattern again is going into the next shell front force double crochet i'm finished two shell next each shell is going four front force chain one four front force double crochet continue this pattern all the way to this row four i'm going to show you end of this row four now I'm nearly finished this row 4. I made into each shell 4 front force double crochet, chain 1, 4 front force double crochet. This the last shell is going with the 4 front force double crochet, chain 1, is skip front force double crochet into the next 4 double crochet to 4 front force double crochet. 2 front force, 3 front force and a 4 front force double crochet. This is the last shell into this single crochet, double crochet. Now I'm finished row 4. Next row 5. I'm going to start row 5. It's going same as the row 3. Chain 1. Turn your work other side. Into the same space single crochet. This row 5 is going same as the row 3. This the row 3 is going same as the row 3. Skip next 4 front force double crochet into this chain space. 4 double crochet. 1, 2, 3 and 4 double crochet. Next I am going to continue this 3D line into this front force double crochet front force double crochet around this double crochet front force double crochet make sure you have to get the same high as the other four double crochet again into the same chain space four double crochet one two three four double crochet skip next four front force double crochet single crochet now you can see this is the first 
shell with the first line again into the next chain space for double crochet four double crochet front force double crochet for this front force double crochet make sure you have to get the same high as the other double crochet into this chain space again four more double crochet two three four between these two shells single crochet now you can continue this pattern all the way to this row 5 I'm going to show you end of this row 5 now I'm nearly finished this row 5 between two shells single crochet into each chain space four double crochet one front force double crochet for the front force double crochet into the same chain space four more double crochet skip next four front force double crochet into the last double crochet single crochet now I finished row five you can see one two three four five next row six row six is going same as the row two row two and row three is the repeat row row six is going same as the row two chain three into this double crochet front force double crochet into the next front force double crochet into the next front force double crochet into the next front force double crochet four front force double crochet chain one again into the next four double crochet to four front force double crochet now you know this pattern you can continue this pattern to your blanket size you can see when you finish the two rows is coming one 3d shell when you finish the six rows is coming three 3d shell now you know this pattern you can continue this pattern to this your blanket size this is the normal regular size baby blanket we need altogether 36 3d shell after 36 3d shell i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful 3d border for this blanket you know this pattern now you can continue this pattern to your blanket size we need altogether 36 3d shell for this blanket after i'm going to show you how to make the beautiful border for this blanket now i'm nearly finished this 36 3d shell into this single crochet double crochet now i finished 36 3d shell you can see when you finish the two rows is coming one 3d shell then we need altogether 72 rows this pattern is really easy and so fast to make i take around seven and a half hours to finish this 72 rows let's see how long is this blanket this size without border is coming around 35 inches this is the square blanket make sure when you get the measurement you have to pull this blanket because i'm going to use the big heavy border then it's coming right size for this blanket this the back side this the right side with the 3d shell with the line i have a 36 3d shell altogether 36 3d shell i gonna make one more row i have a 72 rows i'm gonna make rows number 73 you can see this last row is little bit open i'm gonna make same as this first row row 73 chain one turn your work other side into the same space single crochet next chain three one two three skip next four double crochet into this chain space single crochet again chain three skip next four double crochet between these two shell single crochet again chain three into this chain space single crochet chain three 
between these two shells, single crochet, chain 3, into the next chain space, single crochet, chain 3, between these two shells, single crochet. Now you can see it's coming same as the first row. Continue this pattern all the way to this side. Now I am nearly finished row 73. Chain 3 into this chain space, single crochet. Chain 3, skip next 4 double crochet. Into this last double crochet, single crochet. Now I finish this blanket with the 73 rows. Next I am going to start border for this blanket. I am going to start round 1 with this side. Start with the chain 2, 1, 2. I am using different color yarn to mark this stitch. Then it is easy to close this first round. Into the same space single crochet. I am going to count this single crochet end of this, this side. I am using first, second. 1, 2, 3, 4. Using these 4 rows I am going to make 8 single crochet. Again using next 4 rows. I'm going to make 8 single crochet. I'm going to show you first 8 single crochet into this double crochet, 3 single crochet, 1, 2, 3 single crochet. I'm going to count this first single crochet later into the next row, into this single crochet, 4, into the next double crochet again 3 single crochet, 5, 6, 7 single crochet into this double crochet, into this fourth row single crochet to one single crochet now you can see i made eight single crochet using this four rows again using next four rows eight single crochet into this double crochet three single crochet single crochet to one double crochet to three single crochet to one again one two three single crochet into this double crochet four into this single crochet 5, 6, 7 into this double crochet, 8 into the next single crochet. I hope you can understand using 4 rows, 8 single crochet. Continue this pattern all the way to this corner. Now I am nearly finished this side using 4 rows, 8 single crochet. Now I have a 144 single crochet plus first and last single crochet all together. We need 146 single crochet. Now I have this side 146 single crochet. This is the first corner for this round. Chain 2 into this single crochet into this first stitch single crochet. Again I am going to make into this shell into this chain 3 and this single crochet with the chain 3 this shell into this shell 8 single crochet into each shell I'm gonna make 8 single crochet I'm gonna show you in the first one I'm gonna count this first single crochet later into this chain 3 space 3 single crochet 1 2 3 3 single crochet into this space 1 into the chain 3 space again 3 single crochet 1 2 3 into the next chain 1 single crochet you can see now I have a 8 single crochet 3 into here 4 5 6 7 into this single crochet sorry chain 8 I'm gonna show you one more time 1 2 3 into this chain 3 space 4 is going to this chain 5 6 7 into the next chain 3 space 8 is going into the next chain I hope you can understand continue this pattern all the way to this second side I'm going to show you end of this second side now I'm nearly finished this second side into chain 3 space to 3 single crochet into this chain 1 single crochet now I have again 144 single crochet plus this 
first single crochet and a last single crochet all together 146 single crochet this the second corner chain 2 this the third side into the same space single crochet this the first single crochet I'm gonna count end of this row again using four rows using these four rows we need eight single crochet I'm gonna show you into this chain three sorry into this double crochet three single crochet one two three into the single crochet four into the next double crochet five six seven into the next row single crochet to one single crochet then is coming all together eight again using next four we need eight single crochet into this double crochet three single crochet into the single crochet one single crochet now I have a four again into the next double crochet three single crochet seven into this single crochet eight I hope you can understand continue this pattern all the way to the third corner now I am nearly finished this third side with the 144 single crochet first and last single crochet all together we need 146 single crochet into this last single crochet now I have 146 single crochet chain 2 this is the third corner into the same space single crochet again into this chain 3 space 3 into chain sorry single crochet 1 chain 3 3 1 2 3 into this chain 3 space into this single crochet 4 again into this chain 3 space 5 6 7 single crochet into this single crochet 8 now you can see it's 8 single crochet for the first shell again into the next shell we need 8 1 2 3 into this chain 3 space 4 is going to this single crochet into the next chain 3 space 5 6 7 into the next single crochet 1 single crochet continue this pattern all the way to this fourth corner I'm going to show you end of this fourth corner now I am nearly finished this first round for this border 3 single crochet into this single crochet 1 single crochet now I have 144 single crochet plus this first single crochet and the last single crochet altogether we need 146 single crochet into this chain 2 space last single crochet next I am going to finish this round 1 each side I have a same number of single crochet this is the fourth corner you start with the chain 2 1 2 go through the first single crochet for the first round this is the first single crochet for the round 1 go through the single crochet slip stitch now I have each side 146 single crochet next I'm gonna start round 2 round 2 go through the single crochet go through the next single crochet single crochet now I'm gonna make round 2 round 2 start with the chain 3 1 2 3 skip 2 single crochet into the third single crochet single crochet again chain 3 skip 2 single crochet 1 2 into the third single crochet chain 3 skip 2 single crochet into the third single crochet single crochet again chain 3 skip 2 into the third single crochet single crochet now you can continue this pattern all around to this round 2 is going chain 3 skip 2 into the third single crochet all the way to this first corner now I am nearly finished this first side skip 2 into this last single crochet this is the last single crochet go through this last single crochet single crochet 
Now I finish this side uh, with the 48 loop. Next I'm gonna make this corner. This each corner is going same way. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Go through this chain 2 space. Single crochet. Again chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Go through this same chain is 2 space. Single crochet. Again chain 3. Into the next single crochet single crochet now you can see this corner have a three loop each side we need 48 loop plus this each corner three loop again you can continue this pattern chain three skip two into the third single crochet chain three skip two into the next single crochet we need each side 48 loop plus each corner 3 loop. 3 loop is going into this last single crochet, single crochet, chain 3, single crochet, chain 3, last single crochet for the first single crochet. Continue this pattern all around this round 2. Now I am going to finish round 2. I skip 2 into this last single crochet, single crochet, chain 3 into this chain 2 space single crochet chain 3 into this chain 2 space again single crochet chain 3 this is the first single crochet for the round 2 using this single crochet into this same single crochet single crochet now I finish round 2 with the 48 loop for the each side plus each corner three loop next i'm going to start round three this is the first loop go through this chain slip stitch go through the second chain slip stitch next i'm going to start round three round three start with the chain four one two three four into the next loop single crochet chain 4 into the next loop single crochet chain 4 into the next loop single crochet this round is really easy it's going chain 4 into each loop single crochet continue this round all the way to this first corner i'm going to show you one corner the whole corner is going same way now I'm nearly finished this side with the chain 4 and single crochet for the each loop. This is the corner, chain 4, into this corner loop, single crochet, chain 4, into this next loop, single crochet, chain 4, into the next loop, single crochet, chain 4, into the next loop single crochet chain 4 into the next loop single crochet you can see this each corner is going same way chain 4 into each loop single crochet continue this pattern all around to this round 3 I gonna show you end of this round 3 now I'm nearly finished this round 3 chain 4 I made into each loop single crochet chain 4 1 2 3 4 go through the last loop single crochet this is the last loop single crochet next I'm using two slip stitch to go into the middle of this first loop into this first chain slip stitch into the second chain slip stitch now I'm middle of this first loop Next, I'm going to start round 4. Start with the chain 4. Into the next loop, single crochet. Chain 4. Into the next loop, single crochet. Chain 4. Into the next loop, single crochet. This round 4 is really easy. It's going chain 4 into each loop, single crochet. Continue this pattern all the way to this first corner. 
Now I am nearly in the first corner. Chain 4 into the next loop. Single crochet. 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 This round 4 is really easy. This is the first corner. Other all corner is going same way. Chain 4, single crochet for the each loop. Now I am nearly finished this round 4. Chain 4. Go through the first loop. This is the first loop. And this is the corner. Single crochet. Next I am using again 2 slip stitch to go to the middle of this first loop. Go through this first chain slip stitch. Go through the second chain slip stitch. Next I gonna start round 5. Now I am in a, this the corner. Corner to 1, 2, 3, 4th loop. Into the same loop single crochet. Next I gonna make 5 stitch for using second round single crochet. Opposite this single crochet. Using this single crochet wrap the yarn. Go around to this single crochet, pull this yarn same height, again wrap the yarn, go around to this single crochet, pull this yarn same height. Now I have a 5 loops on a hook, go through the first 4 loop, next go through the next 2 loop. Go through the same loop, single crochet. This is the first 5 stitch for the round 5. Next, chain 2. 1, 2, into the next loop, single crochet, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, into the next loop, single crochet, chain 2, 1, 2, into the next loop, single crochet. Next I gonna make second half stitch same as this one using round 2 single crochet. This is the single crochet for the round 2. Go around to this single crochet. 5 stitch. Make sure you have to get the same high. Now I have a 5 loops on a hook. Go through the first 4 loop. Next go through the next 2 loop. Into the same loop. Single crochet. Now you can see I have a 2 5 stitch. Again, it's going chain 2, 1, 2, into the next loop, single crochet, chain 3, into the next loop, single crochet, chain 2, 1, 2, into the next loop, single crochet with the 5th stitch and a single crochet using this round 2 single crochet 5th stitch into the same loop single crochet. I hope you can understand this round. Now you can see I have a 3 half stitch. You can continue this pattern. Chain 2 into the next loop single crochet. Continue this pattern all the way to this corner. I'm going to show you how to turn in first corner. The whole corner is going same way. Now I'm in a corner. I have a 3 loops left. Chain 2 into the next loop, single crochet, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, into the next loop, single crochet, this is the corner loop, again chain 3, 1, 2, 3, into this corner loop, single crochet. Now I am going to make in this corner, this corner to this second round loop. Go around to this single crochet, 5th stitch. Make sure you have to get the same high, single crochet into the same loop. This is the corner. Here I have a 3 loop. Again, we go in the same way, chain 3 into the next loop, single crochet, chain 3 into the next loop, single crochet, chain 2. 1, 2, into the next loop, single crochet. Next, I'm going to make 5 stitch using this round 2 single crochet. Go 
go through the same single same loop single crochet chain 2 into the next loop single crochet chain 3 into the next loop single crochet chain 2 into the next loop single crochet with the fifth stitch now you can see is each corner going same way each side we need 16 fifth stitch plus corner one here have a three loops fifth stitch chain three chain three chain two fifth stitch continue this pattern all around to this round five now i am nearly finished this round five chain three into the next loop single crochet chain three into the next loop single crochet you can see this corner to this two loop is coming chain three and co last one is coming chain two this the single crochet for the round five go through this first single crochet slip stitch now i complete this round five each side have a 16 half stitch plus corner one next round six start with the chain three one two three this chain three i'm going to count first double crochet into the same single crochet three more double crochet double crochet two double crochet and a three double crochet now i have a first three chain with the one two three four double crochet this the fifth stitch using this fifth stitch i'm gonna make one front force double crochet again into the next single crochet four double crochet one two three and a four double crochet next skip chain two loop into the chain three loop single crochet this is the first shell for the border next again skip next chain two loop into the next single crochet four double crochet one two three and a four double crochet using this fifth stitch front force double crochet into the next single crochet four more double crochet one two three and a four double crochet skip next loop into this chain three loop single crochet again skip next loop into this single crochet again come in four double crochet now i finish two shell continue this pattern into this each single crochet to four double crochet front force double crochet for the fifth stitch four double crochet continue this pattern all the way to this corner now i'm in a corner skip next loop into this corner single crochet one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet five double crochet and a six double crochet this the corner one this shell i made with the four double crochet here I have a six double crochet into this fifth stitch front force double crochet again into the next single crochet into this single crochet again six double crochet one two three four five and a six double crochet here you have a six double crochet skip next loop into the next single crochet skip next loop into this single crochet again four double crochet now you can continue this pattern is going single crochet to four double crochet front force double crochet for this fifth stitch again into the next single crochet four double crochet corner is going six sing sorry six double crochet 
front first double crochet again into the next six double crochet continue this pattern all around to this round six now I'm nearly finished this round six six double crochet skip next loop into the next single crochet this is the first shell for the round six go through the first third chain slip stitch now I complete round six round seven go around to this first double crochet back four slip stitch chain three into the next double crochet back four double crochet again into the next double crochet back four double crochet into the next double crochet back four double crochet now you can see I have a four back four double crochet chain one skip this front four double crochet into the next four double crochet back four double crochet one two three back four double crochet into this last double crochet four back four double crochet now I finish first shell with the four back four double crochet chain one four back four double crochet again is going same as this blanket pattern four back four chain one four back four double crochet I'm going to show you how to start the next shell go through this first double crochet back four double crochet into this second double crochet back four double crochet into the third double crochet back four double crochet into this fourth double crochet back four double crochet now I have a four double crochet chain one skip this front four double crochet into the next double crochet back four double crochet this round seven is going into each double crochet to one back four double crochet continue this pattern all the way to this row row seven is corner is going six back four chain one six back four continue this pattern all around to this round seven now I'm nearly finished this round seven this the fourth corner now I have a one two three four five six back four chain one skip this front four double crochet into the next six double crochet to again six back four double crochet I hope you can understand this round seven corner is going each corner same way six back four chain one six back four double crochet four five and a six back four double crochet this the corner this the first shell for the round seven go through the first third chain slip stitch now I finished round seven next round eight round eight this each corner is going same way for the round seven next round eight is skip this four double crochet sorry back four double crochet into this chain space double crochet one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven double crochet between these two shells skip this four back four double crochet into this space single crochet again into the next chain space again seven double crochet one two three four five six and a seven double crochet between these two shells single crochet you know this pattern now you can continue this pattern all around to this round eight continue this pattern all the way to this corner now I'm in a corner here I have a six back four double crochet skip first four back four double crochet into this two double crochet two I'm gonna make two double crochet skip four into the fifth two double crochet one two double crochet 
into the next double crochet two more double crochet three and four double crochet now I have a four double crochet into this chain space we need five double crochet one two three four five double crochet now I have altogether nine double crochet into the next two double crochet again two double crochet 10 and 11 double crochet into the next double crochet 12 and 13 double crochet into the next double crochet skip next four double crochet between these two shell single crochet again you can continue this pattern into this chain space seven double crochet continue this pattern each corner is going four double crochet two two five double crochet for this chain space again into the next two and two all together 13 continue this pattern all around to this round eight i'm going to show you end of this round eight now i'm nearly finished this round eight two double crochet between these two shell single crochet now i have each corner 13 double crochet next i'm going to start round nine the this shell have a seven double crochet between first and second double crochet between first and second double crochet single crochet chain three one two three go through this first two loop single crochet again between next two double crochet single crochet chain three go through this two loop single crochet again between this next two double crochet single crochet now i have a two loop chain three go through this two loop single crochet chain three go through this single sorry two loop single crochet chain three go through this two loop single crochet now you can see i have a three loops all together one two three between next two double crochet single crochet you can see it's coming beautiful finishing with this border between next two double crochet single crochet chain three go through this loop single crochet again between next two single crochet chain three go through this loop single crochet we're gonna make last single crochet for this seven double crochet you can see i'm going to show you again between first and second double crochet single crochet chain three go through this two loop single crochet between next two single crochet chain three second loop next between next two double crochet single crochet chain three one loop we need three loops all together one two three loops i have a three loops now between next two double crochet single crochet between next two double crochet one more single crochet go through this two loop single crochet you can see this pattern now continue this pattern around to this round nine is coming between these two double crochet single crochet we need two loops for the both side and three loops for the middle continue this pattern 
all the way to this corner. I'm going to show you how to turn this corner. Now I'm in a corner between this first and second double crochet, single crochet, chain three, one loop. Between next two double crochet is coming second loop. Between next two double crochet, third loop. Between next two double crochet, we need fourth loop. Between next two double crochet is coming five. Between next two double crochet, single crochet. Now you can see one, two, three, four, five. Five loop. Next, I'm gonna make three loops together. One loop. Chain three, go through this loop. Second loop. Chain three, go through this two loop. Single crochet, third loop. Now I have three loops together. Between next two, single crochet. Again, next. Between next two, double crochet, single crochet. Again, we need five more loop for this side. You can see when you make the three loops together between next two double crochet single crochet again into the between next two double crochet to single crochet then start the loop then is balance both side now i am finished five loop for the this side four this the last one Five. This the corner. One, two, three, four, five. Again, you can continue this pattern between first and second double crochet, single crochet with the first loop. You can see each corner is going same way. We need one, two, three, four, five loop, middle three. Again, this side five loop. Continue this pattern all around to this round nine. I'm gonna show you end of this round nine. Now I'm gonna finish this round nine. This the last corner. I have one, two, three, four, five loop for this side. Go through the single first single crochet, slip stitch. Now I can cut yarn. I'm finished this blanket border with the nine round. I take around one and a half hours to finish this blanket border all together. Nine hours. I have this much yarn left. I've used five yarn ball. I'm using this needle to hide this yarn tail. If you like to use the different color, that means baby girl with the pink and a boy for the blue you can use four yarn ball for the blanket one yarn for the second color we need exactly four yarn ball for the blanket and a two round for the border we need one yarn ball i finished this blanket in my previous video i show how to make the same pattern with the full set if you missed that i give you link in a description down below when you finish this blanket, don't forget to share with me in our Facebook group. I'll give you this Facebook link in the description down below. This the square blanket is coming around 41 inches. It's really nice size for the baby. In this high is coming 41 inches. You can see 41 inches or 105 centimeter. It's so beautiful baby blanket. I really love this baby blanket. It's so soft. If you want, you can use the butterfly for the corner. It's so beautiful. 
I hope you will love this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. See you again with another video.